how many angelfish should I keep in my aquarium? That is a question that I normally see a lot of uh, experts or fish tubers kind of shy away from. Well, if they don't shy away from it, they give half answers and, and there's a good reason why. It's such a difficult question to answer. For some reason, when it comes to this basic question, how many angelfish can I put in my aquarium? It's, it's not an easy answer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and give you my opinion on how many angelfish can fit in your 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 and above. I'm gonna give you those numbers, all right? But at the end of the video, I'm, I'm gonna give you the reason why those numbers that I'm about to give you is pretty much bogus. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I, I, I got on an IG live stream for the first time um, a couple days ago and they were doing a little Q&A with me which I thought was awesome because that question definitely needs addressing and here we go how many angelfish can you fit in the 10 gallon zero don't put um angelfish in the 10 gallon the only way you can put an angelfish in a 10 gallon is if you have small angelfish and they're growing out you're gonna get something bigger if it's a sick tank um but that's pretty much the only reason why you would want to put even one angelfish in a 10 gallon See, angelfish are long, right? And they're pretty much mid-tank swimmers for the most part. So that's why whatever aquarium you put them in, you wanna have them in a taller tank. 20 longs are also out of the question. But 20 highs, now, now we're talking. And for a 20 high, in my honest opinion, only one angelfish can fit in there. Now, a lot of people will breed angelfish, putting a male and a female in a 20 high. And that's the only time I suggest doing two angelfish in a 20 high is if it's for breeding purposes. 29 gallon, two, possibly three. But like I said, at the end of this video, I'll tell you why that might be BS too. 40 breeders. 40 breeders are a good grow out tank, but not necessarily good as in keeping an angel fish because like I said, they're tall fish, right? And a 40 breeder just doesn't give them that up and down low. So in my professional opinion, I don't really suggest putting angel fish in a 40 breeder unless it's for like a temporary, like if you got a pet store or something like that. Can you do it? Yeah, but they would really enjoy a taller tank than a 40 breeder. 45s, um, they got some nice height to them and they got a decent amount of water volume. So I would definitely say three to four in a 45. At least now I'll say that. 55 gallon aquarium. Now this is the aquarium size I suggest you get for angelfish. It has a nice amount of, of water volume. It has plenty of up and down room and it has space for in case your fish become territorial one to you know one particular fish can stay on the other side the other fish can stay and plenty of room to um put in fake plants or real plants which whatever tickles your pickle 55s can easily keep six angelfish possibly eight but i can guarantee you you're not going to want to put that many on 55. well at least at first you're going to want to do it but i'm about to tell you why you don't want to do it angelfish are cichlids right so they have a tendency to get kind of rowdy mainly when it's a male on male situation Mainly when it's two males, um, you know, fighting for dominance. For, for, for the most part, a 55 gives um, enough room for the lesser dominant male to get away from the dominant male. Angelfish are prolific breeders when you have the circumstances right. And it don't take a lot to get the circumstances right for angelfish to breed. If you get at least three angelfish and one is a male and one of them is a female, there's going to be some bumping uglies going on. And when that happens, angelfish, male and female, become extremely aggressive once they start spawning. Angelfish will not tolerate other angelfish anywhere, or other fish to be honest with you, anywhere near the spawn site. And being that you cannot tell by looking at an angelfish if it is male or female, getting multiple angels, um, there's a good chance of you having spawning going on. So let's say you move the male and female that are causing the issues, um, the aggression issues. You move them out of the situation. Chances are, if you have six to eight angelfish in the aquarium, you might have another breeding pair somewhere in the mix of the fish that are left over. You're gonna have to go through this again. So now you have to find other aquariums or find somewhere to get rid of these fish. You're gonna have to do something. Is exactly why it's so difficult to tell somebody how many angelfish you can put in an aquarium. Because the more angelfish you put in an aquarium, the more of a chance of breeding and aggression you're gonna have. I'm not telling you not to, by no means. I would never have just one, two, or three angelfish, but I am totally prepared, or at least I know that this is, I'm gonna have to deal with this down the line. Some other questions that's been asked is, can you put different types of angelfish together? The answer is 100% yes. For the most part, designer angelfish, the ones you pick up at the pet stores, the average ones, you know, not wild caught ones, are all the same, just different colors. 
if you're adding wild type angelfish with domesticated designer angelfish then you might have some issue with water quality the wild type angelfish might be accustomed to a uh, softer lower ph water whereas the domesticated designer angelfish because they were bred in captivity and used to the water coming out your tap would be better suited for that so you might have some water compatibility you might have some water compatibility you might have some water compatibility issues another question that i got was can you put males and females together the answer is of course but more than likely there's going to be some aggression due to breeding the other fish are smaller fish that you put in the aquarium kind of like daniels or tetras or moles or other live bears to kind of dilute the aggression basically you put these other fish in there so that the aggressive angelfish cannot concentrate on just one individual fish it's got so much going on it kind of just man you know doesn't pick with one individual fish so much so putting the fish in an aquarium with multiple angels is highly suggested you can put multiple angels in your aquarium but be prepared for breeding behavior going on in which case you will have to figure out whether you want to take the fish that are getting beat up out or the beat up or earth the the fish that are beating up the uh, the aggressive ones out if this is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button notification bell and thumbs up and leave a comment i really really want to know what you have to say because depending on what your comment is that's what my next video is going to be about